I wanted to ask you, first of all, just the opportunity to get in the game. What was told to you at halftime and just your mindset going into the second half? Yeah, we knew um, going into halftime that I'd be going out. So if we had another drive uh, that second half, or that first half, I'd be going out. But, um, Second half, or in the halftime, just talking to Coach Webb, just tell him like scheme-wise what we're going to do, what we're going to change. Um, just had to go out and have success. Were there nerves? Oh yeah, definitely. But um, started to settle down after the first couple drives. I want to ask you about that third down throw to ice the game. Just talk about going in, knowing you're looking for your read, going through your reads, finding Jaleel. Just take me through that play. Yeah, we thought they were going to max out zero on us, so just checked out of it and just threw a little snap. How much did it, Gavin Sacha, how much did his, his play help you out as far as like settling into the game? Big time. I mean, he had those two huge carries, and I know we did get stopped on that drive, but I mean, just to come out that next drive and have that same juice and go out and, and score on what, third and one, third and two, it was just huge. Was it weird the last week hearing all this talk about redshirt, no redshirt, and then getting in there and actually having a go today? Uh, no, not really, because I mean, the talk with me and Coach Webb was that if something happens, like some freak happened today, that I'd be going in. Um, so I prepared the same way I've been preparing the entire year. So it wasn't really different for me. Did you, did you talk to Dylan at all at halftime? Did he give you any advice or did you get a chance to conversate with him? Uh, no, I did not get a chance to talk to him at halftime. Yeah, he was in the, he was in the, uh, the locker room. We talked to him after. Of course, what did he say? He said he was proud of me. Told him, just keep on. Jack Saturday was maybe a difference about the state playoffs in 2019. But being a freshman, stepping into this moment, have you just had opportunities to prepare for days like this? Sometimes? I mean, I don't know if you can prepare for something like that, you know, a freak accident like that, but just, you know, studying the game plan, studying our scheme, um, studying their defense, it's just all big and, and successful in that. It's like seeing Billy make that big play. Uh, they're, you know, got a chance to go with Milman just to get them to do what he did. What was that like? Yeah, honestly, I didn't even see it. I was talking to Coach Lev on the phone, but, you know, hearing everybody cheer and looking up and seeing that, it was just a huge uh, weight lifted off my shoulders, you know. I know a defense is going to go play their butts off for me, but we got to go step up and do the same. Hey, the big play that you hit the career, you may have already talked about it, but you guys would run two run plays and you hit that big pass. Talk about that play because that was a great play. Uh, we just thought they are going to bring us a look where I needed to check out of, and I did check out of it, and we just connected. So as you, you, you checked out of it and it's called that play? Yes, sir. Fantastic. They give you, you, they give you free reign to do all that. Yeah, yeah, it was talked about all week. If we, if we get certain looks, we need to check out of, and that was one of them. The catch by Farouk, he's got to get a first down. To they, 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 they got to him, you know. So he does that all the time, doesn't he? Yeah, that was huge by Jalil. I mean, made a great freaking catch. You know, fought through the first down, held onto the ball too. It was a great job by him. Negative plays, the first two series, the lateral didn't didn't go for much. The, the spot snap a little bit, a little humble uh -huh. snap. How much after that did you calm yourself down? I mean, is it nerves just trying, you want to get some kind of flow? And yeah, I mean, it, it definitely was nerves earlier on, but just, you know, kind of settling into the game and just kind of taking a deep breath really helped me out. When did, when did you feel like you settled in? I'd say like, after the second drive, kind of on the sidelines. After, the, after we got the pick, honestly, it was a big, uh, big relief. After the game, Brent said that you're a guy that's you don't get nervous, the moment's not too big for you, but did you feel any anxiety? Maybe you were almost too fired up at times? Yeah, a little nervous. Um, naturally, I think, I mean, to be nervous in that situation, but you know, I just gotta take a deep breath and calm down. Was it a little bit too much juice on the one to Nick Anderson down the sideline there? Oh yeah, definitely. I wish I, I, wish I got that one back by far. Yep. I guess, I mean, shoot, I don't know. What's your practice week like when leading up to this game? Just taking reps, knowing you're one snap away. Do you keep that mindset? How important is that to keep that mindset too? So. Super important. I mean, for games like this, like you got to go out and you got to go out and help the team win. You know, we're we're in the fight for a Big 12 championship right now. If we lose today, we're out of that. So you know, the entire week, just knowing I am one snap behind, just gonna keep that mentality throughout the entire week. Who's the first person you talk to after you leave here? Away from your teammates, is it mom, dad? It'll be my parents. Yes, sir. What do you think they'll say? Just say they're proud of me. After that second drive, 